What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all with another video. Now, before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below. Make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you follow me on all my socials. And make sure you get the ebook, 10 Things That Define Every King. Link's gonna be in the description. Every woman doesn't deserve you. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about desperate men. In this video, we're gonna talk about sexual discipline and just not being so thirsty as a man. First things first, majority of men, we, as we all know, I can say it's crazy how I say this almost in the beginning of every video. Majority of men are simps. So majority of men are in droughts when it comes to just, you know what I'm saying, getting play from women, just getting women, getting a conversation, making it seem like women actually want them, attraction, whatever the case may be. But you as a man, the more desperate you are as a man, the harder you gonna make it on yourself. You not being in the draw, you should see that as a problem, first and foremost. Not like women is everything, but you should understand that it's something that you are doing wrong as a man if you cannot get no play. Something you are not doing. It's not, you can't blame her for not liking you because she's entitled to her own preferences, opinions, or whatever. It's your fault why she don't like you. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be stop being so desperate as a man. If you are in that draw, it is your fault. So you gotta look in the mirror and you gotta be like, okay, okay what am I doing wrong? You're too desperate. You chasing women and you simping. Like chasing you, it's one thing to chase them. You know what I'm saying? Cause you could have a game and you be and still be chasing women, but it's one thing to be chasing them and then you simping. Like, come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? So okay, you because you de it's, it's desperation behind it. It's like please. It's like I'll do anything. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's almost like pretty much you'll pay for it, and you and you really gonna be satisfied with it. What type of woman wants a man that's just basically begging and bowing down and on his knees like, please, can you just please talk to me? This is the same thing with y'all dudes. Y'all be talking to yourselves in women's DMs. That's like, can you please talk to me? Like, do you really honestly think that she want to talk to a man like that? A man that's bowing down to her, a man that like literally can't even live without her? And then there's to this thing where you, you running up behind your ex, you're desperate. It's like... Do you think women want the type of that type of man? No, she does not want the type of man. Does anything does anything desperate sound masculine? No. Does anything needy sound masculine? No. If you chasing her, does that sound masculine? No. So first and foremost, you gotta understand that women are not everything. But if you can't get women, it is your fault. So you being desperate is not the solution. You have to get better in your own life. But then it comes to the extent that okay, now you're not simping no more. Now you're not desperate no more. You on your grind, you focusing on bettering yourself. Okay. Women are going to come along with that. But when this is the trend, this is this is typically the transition phase. You go from this desperate simp who's just, you know what I'm saying, can't get no women. Then you're acquiring a little bit of knowledge. You kind of focusing on yourself a little bit. So now to the extent where you kind of you're getting little bits and pieces of your self-work because you're seeing a little bits and pieces of improvement in your life. But now that it's to the extent where you go from no women to a little bit of attraction. You settling for any and everything, so you ready to put your digging stick in any and every woman that's giving you a little bit of attention because you was just in a drought. So now you're going for after anything that you can get. That's still wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's still wrong. Of course, you gotta, you know what I'm saying, work with what you can get, but at the end of at the same time, you don't. You know what I'm saying? Because it's to the extent that is this all you can get, you gotta ask yourself, is this all I can get? Is this the best quality woman that I can attract in this given moment in my in, in this point of life that I'm in right now? Because a lot of men, we just settle. That's what I say. As a man, you don't need to be settling in your life. You get what I'm saying? You have to hold. That's why you must recognize your value. Because a lot of men, you be in relationships with women that are beneath you. Not in an egotistical type of way, but to the way that she's not on your level. Like you could attract a better woman than her. You could attract a more valuable woman than her that's going to bring more peace, that's going to invest more into your life, etc. But a lot of men, see, we're visual, so we look for looks. And then that's it. You know what I'm saying? You may see a woman that look good, but... Every other quality outside of her looks does not lead up and balance out with her looks. So therefore, overall speaking, she's not that valuable of an individual. That's like, if you know what I'm saying? You take a player that can only shoot. If you're not like, if you're not shooting like Curry, nine times out of 10, you're gonna get overlooked because you can't run plays, you can't play defense, you can't do nothing. All you can do is shoot. But then it comes to the point where all you can do is shoot. Maybe you can only shoot in the corner. Maybe you can only shoot when you open. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you can only shoot 10 shots. Maybe you can't even create your own shot. So you're limited as a player. So when it comes to the extent where you only look for looks on a woman, you're going to always limit the type of options that you can be attracting because you're only looking for one specific thing. So when it comes to the extent of when you find something that fits into the type of attraction that you're looking for, you settle. That's wrong. 
So you keep on sticking it out. You keep on digging a little bit more. You keep on grinding a little bit more. And it's gonna come to the extent where it's like this. You gotta understand every woman does not deserve you. Every woman, because you gotta understand, bro. When you're not, it's not just, sex is not just sex, bro. Sex is not just a physical thing. Sex is an energy exchange, sacred or sexual energy exchange, however you want to word it. So when it comes to the point where y'all are intertwining y'all's energies, bro, that's what it comes down to. You're exchanging your sexual energy. You understand that this energy can create a human. This energy can create life within the woman. So therefore, you must be disciplined in the mind, disciplined within your dignity to be able to have discernment to be able to know, okay, she's quote unquote worthy of receiving this energy. She's quote unquote worthy of receiving this dignity. You got to have that type of discipline behind yourself because you got to hold yourself to a standard. You get what I'm saying? Obviously, the man that is getting all the women is going to be attracted more women. So, you know what I'm saying? The more experience you have i should say the more easier it is for you to attract women and you know what i'm saying whatever the case may be because if you're in a drought if no one wants you why if nobody wants you why would the girl that you have want you that's why you got to ask yourself as a man when you in a relationship <laughs> the game is not over when you get in a relationship or the game is not over when you attract the woman just because this is why i say when you get in a relationship you don't get comfortable because you still want to be not like you're looking for attention or not like you're trying to attract other women but you still want to be attractive to the opposite sex aka what i'm saying is you don't want to get comfortable and start compromising and just be solely focused i mean yeah solely focused on your girl to the point where you're not still striving to and you're not still striving to enhance your way of being enhance your life as a man in order to the point where you could attract other women you don't want to be linear you don't want to have this scarcity mindset when it comes to women you want to be to the point where it's constant progression and constant evolution within your well-being internally and externally so that comes the mindset of She's not even a worthy candidate. Yeah, she looked good, but her demeanor, her energy is off. So therefore, excuse me. So yeah, her energy and demeanor is off. Therefore, I don't even want to put my digging stick inside of her because it's energy exchange. Therefore, I could, you know what I'm saying? After the exchange of energy, after I dig her out, whatever the case may be, I'm leaving bits of my energy within her. She's leaving bits of my energy, of her energy within me. So do you really want to be, you know what I'm saying? This is why a lot of y'all men, well, let's start with women. This is why a lot of women be emotionally messed up and you can't really pair a bond with them because they got so many bodies because they exchange the energy with so many different dudes you the same thing as a man you you hitting all these women that are literally succubus type of individuals but it comes to the extent that they look so good that you feel as if you know what i'm saying you adding value into your life when in reality bro you hitting a bunch of demons so that's why you feel you that's why your energy messed up as a man that's why you always cheating on your girl because you don't see past the look so therefore you got a good girl on your shoulder but you see another girl that look good or you know what i'm saying you ready to just do whatever you know what i'm saying you ready to just venture off and everything like this so there's really no value within you because you ready to just give what you have to offer to any and every woman so therefore that's why you got to have that discipline bro because women are gonna, going to manipulate you into ways that make it seem like they're more, they bring more to the table than what they actually do so that's why you got to be able to look beyond the physical because women know that majority of men are simple so they know that just by them looking good just by them talking in a certain manner, you know what I'm saying, sweet talking you, just by them having the cat eyes, the puppy eyes, whatever you want to call it, that men are going to fall victim, that men are going to submit to this type of behavior. Do you know what I'm saying? They can fake a feminine persona in order to get what they want out of you. So you have to be able to see past these things. That's why I also say what is her mind like, what is her goals like, her morals, what she got going on in her own individual life, what's her energy like, you know what I'm saying, what's her faith in God like, what's her relationship with God like. All these types of things matter beyond the looks because all that type of stuff plays into her energy as a whole individual. So when you just lending, when you just looking for looks, bro, you're gonna set your dude, you're gonna do yourself a disservice because it more plays into the dynamic when y'all interacting. You have to look for the non-physical aspects to really see if she's a candidate to be able to receive your sexual energy, to see if she is a worthy candidate to be in a relationship with you long term. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of women don't have the value that they're showing. Same thing with men. A lot of y'all, that's all y'all have to offer is dig and stick. So that's why. That's why all you're looking for is looks. That's why all you're trying to do is run up your body count because you already know deep down inside that you are not ready to maintain a stable relationship. So you're just looking to dig out this woman, this woman, this woman, this woman, and this woman. And you think that's doing something for you. That's why a lot of women, I mean, that's why a lot of men also, you go through this heartbreak phase. Same thing with women, you know what I'm saying? Go both ways. You go through a heartbreak phase and then it's either, you know what I'm saying, women run up their body count or, I mean, same way, you know what I'm saying? They run up their body count or you just dig, dig out all these women just to, feel a void when in reality you still haven't healed at all so you running up your body count really didn't do anything for you well anything positive for you but what it did is 
you got all the, you exchange all this other energy you left all this energy with this other woman you you received all these other type of energies and downloads and thought process and emotional states from these women saying you know what i'm saying it's transferred with the energy so now you now where you're supposed to be as a man but anyways the, the end all be all the resolution of this is just being disciplined to understand who deserves your energy who deserves your digging stick and who doesn't because every woman out there just because she look good does not mean that she's a worthy individual for you to get up inside of that bro because everybody you never know bro and then even to take it a step further bro you know what i'm saying not to talk not to talk down because it can go the same way with a man but it's like even a step further just because she look good you don't know what that woman got you know what i'm saying you don't know what she got so yeah just because she look good you don't know what everybody count is so you know what i'm saying she may look good but her walls like this you, you know you don't want to get inside of it you know what i'm saying or she may look good but her mind is her mind is gone you know what i'm saying because she got 50 bodies and she you know what i'm saying she ain't nothing but 19 years old and her you know what i'm saying so she's gone this is why you got to understand bro this is why also you got to just play a role let her do all the talking you just respond off the energy you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all because you got to understand bro desperation you don't want this pity type of coochie do where you begging your woman for it or she don't you know what i'm saying she don't even really want to give it to you you got to lead the interaction all the time you don't want that type of stuff bro but just had a discipline to understand that look she look good but that's it so she don't really you know what i'm saying to even deserve my time of day when you when you move like this and it's also to the extent that even going a step further the more you improve yourself the more women that you're going to attract so it also comes to the extent that you can pick and choose what woman that you want to interact with that you want to give your time and attention to you see what i'm saying so when you because when you're increasing your value because you got to understand this all the women want the top percent of men the top 10 percent of men so that means all that means 10 percent, maybe even less than 10 from 10 down to one percent the top 10 down to the top one percent of men they getting all the women so therefore it comes down to the extent that when you have this type of value as a man you get to pick and choose who you want you're gonna be coming across baddies day in and day out but what else is it you get what i'm saying because when you're the top one percent man attracting a woman that look good is nothing to you so that's why you have to think about okay what else does she have to offer what else can she bring to the table that's when the discipline kicks in because just because she look good don't mean it's enough you see what i'm saying so that's why you want to have the discipline but when you desperate bro and you chasing and you sipping you can always be in a drought but when you start getting when you start improving your life and then you start you know what i'm saying seeing a little bits and pieces of improvement in your life that don't mean you start settling for any and every woman that you can attract bro this is just the beginning stages all you got to do is just keep putting that work in you see you see little by little slowly but surely the more work you put in as a man the more results you have to show as a man the better the chicks gonna get you get what i'm saying but it comes to the extent where you must have that abundance mindset if one drop off if one stop messing with you or if she say no it don't matter because there's way more women on the flip side you got to get out of the scarcity mindset of i can't get over my ex or i can't see past my ex to the point where you're stuck on this one woman that's not even good for you and you forget about all these other women that's that you haven't even met yet so it comes down to the point like this bro every woman doesn't deserve you you have to have the discernment you have to find yourself worth that's why you have to look within yourself isolate yourself focus on improving your own life because women are a compliment to that when you go out here feeling as if women complete your life and you're desperate for the coochie or you're desperate for the attention of a woman you will never ever in your life have women and you have to look in the mirror because that is your fault why would you as a man walk around just so needy and desperate that energy lingers out women see that and it repels them women see that and it drives them up women see you chasing after them as if the world revolves around them you get what i'm saying but it kind of do to a certain extent because it's more simps than men with this type of game and this type of mindset so it's more simps that are pedestalizing these women it's more simps that are just chasing all these women so it's like cool to, to a certain extent do run the world because you simps are just so damn bad and y'all are in droughts and that's to the point where why this, this is why the, another reason why these women had these big egos because y'all so simped out that y'all make a four feel like she's a she's a 10 and that's you know what i'm saying that's your that's your fault as a man because you're so desperate when you desperate bro she ain't gonna do nothing but play you use you for what you got and they'll kick you onto the curb because you just like every other dude you you mean to tell me that you think that you're the only one doing that type of stuff she you needy the next dude need, the next four dudes is all needy you get what i'm saying she gonna get something out of each and every one of y'all kick all y'all off to the curb and while she focusing on trying to change this one dude who's been digging her out who's been cheating on her who don't really care about her you get what i'm saying she gonna be focused on him when she's just gonna get what she want from you and you want and she on to the next she playing y'all she flipping through y'all she running through y'all but at the end of the day you get what i'm saying you still in a drought you still desperate and then when it comes to the point where you're a high value man bro when you really increasing your value you get to pick and choose who you want you gotta you gotta understand like how would you fit into my lifestyle are you really a worthy candidate can you bring peace in my life can you add value into what i already got going on because yeah you look good but what else 
that type of thing, bro. So you gotta stop putting your dig and stick in every other one. And you know what I'm saying? That every woman can really understand the value that she can provide to your life. Because at the end of the day, bro, sex is just sex. You don't wanna just waste your time and waste your life just chasing after sex and just chasing after pleasure because it's more to life than that. So you gotta understand. What other type of value can these women bring? Do I would it either, would it even serve me any purpose or benefit just to dig her out because she looked good, or could I spend my time doing something else, or could I spend my time with the more valuable woman that's bringing more peace into my life outside of the sex? You get what I'm saying? So really think beyond the physical, bro. Get out of your lower urges and understand that every woman don't deserve you. It's as simple as that. So have the discipline in your mind, have the discipline in your digging stick, and just move accordingly. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.